Today, we've got something a little bit different here on the channel. It's not the usual experiments that you've come to know and love. It's a tutorial, and it's how to improve your regens to go from this, insert crap face here, to this. And, yeah, it's been massively requested by you all. So many people ask in the comments, how do you get such good regen faces, blah, blah, blah. So here we go. I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. Let's jump in. Okay, so the two ways of doing this, um, there are players for regens that come into the game, and there are players if you want to make one prior and um, insert them into the base game i imagine it will be more relevant for people who want to do the regen faces rather than the pre-gens that players that you make however i will quickly show you how to do that so we'll quickly make a player and then we'll go and do that one and then we'll come back and do the others so quickly we're just going to go in we're going to add a player and of course we're going to call him one of the best regen names that we've had on the channel in recent time it is going to be the return of richard squirrel and then we can we can we can put anything we want in here we can put uh the weight this is in kilos uh, the uh so sorry that, that's the height excuse me 180 uh, weight in kilos 75 whatever uh, we'll give him a date of birth of course the date of birth needs to be of a reasonable age because i think the minimum age on this game is four i think it's 14 but really you want someone to be like 15 16 to be in the game properly we're going to make him to be 20 ish 23 um now he's not going to be in the game uh, if we just create a player more often than not so we're gonna have to assign him to a club so of course let's oh, manchester city why not with the first there give him a wage 5k a week and person data yeah whatever player data we'll just give him a current ability of 200 just so we know that he will turn up in the database and that is about it now we can see this random id here and the unique id ignore these we will see these in the actual base game but rather than mess around here i'll show you once we've loaded him into the database so we're going to file we're going to save the editor data as and we're going to call him put the richard squirrel database edit data saved now we start a new game we go to a career now of course with the updates you do that it will come up like this as you will probably be more familiar with in your save games however if you've made some uh, amendments and you have different databases you can just click on this up here and you can click on which database you want so if we go for the richard squirrel database which now means we have to go through to the um more extensive game mode setup and here we go we're gonna do a large database because i'm gonna want some regens to appear and we start the game okay so once we're into the game we go and find the player so we we go through and as you can see here with richard squirrel and he's got a blacked out face because he's a silhouette so there you go there that's the uh, attributes that the game has decided to put in we've got to do a position so they made him a right winger fine whatever contracts to man city so what we now need is their unique player id so there's the unique id for richard squirrel more on that later a lot of you do ask in the comments what skin i use it's actually the saz 24 skin it's the saz 24 space skin not a foreskin steady on uh there we go and there's probably been more updates since the january one but on this computer i've just got this um there's there was a november update as well shows hidden attributes there's also a laptop version which i have on my laptop downstairs and of course there is the main base game football manager skin i'm going to quickly go back to the main base game football manager skin just so you know okay so here we do not have anywhere to see the unique player id now what you can do is go and get a better skin for a start as we've seen with the sas skin or if we go to preferences and it's somewhere in here if we go to uh, all and it will show all of these things now as we scroll down i could have prepped this video and worked out where it was but i didn't so bear with me okay i can't find it i genuinely can't find it there used to be something somewhere where you used to be able to click it and it would just um put their id up here so maybe i'm being blind i'm not sure there used to be something anyway right go and get a better skin for a start anyway i'm going back to this this uh, skin anyway more on that more on this later now how do we go and get the faces so i actually use mid journey now i'm not going to show you how to sign up to mid journey you have to pay it's about 10 pound a month there are three of three versions and alternatives out there and new ones coming out all the time you choose whichever one you want however i use mid journey so that is the one that we will be uh, using in this video now i'm not going to show you how to sign up because there's plenty of tutorials on that online and i'm not going to show you how to install it into discord because that's what you need you need discord because again it's a very simple process once you've signed up it's very very self-explanatory so let's let, let's log into mid journey so as, as, you, as you can see, so what you do is you actually go into the chat bot in the side of mid journey. And as you can see, I, I, I do this all the time anyway. So this is the command prompt essentially that I use. Now, full disclosure, I borrowed 90% of this command prompt from Clate, who did a video very similar to this in was it the back end of the last football manager or the one before. I think it was the back end of the last football manager. So chats, Clate, I will put this prompt in the bottom. So what you do is I'm going to mid journey, go forward slash imagine, and then you do the prompt. So uh, fit in all the head and... So 85mm DSLR colour photography of a very detailed 
headshot fitting all of the head hair and shoulders in frame 20 year old let's go with brazilian male soccer player now forgive me for putting soccer um it, if you put football it can sometimes put um fo uh, american football equipment on them so putting soccer just nullifies all of that uh, so light brown hair we're going to go with um black hair stubble stubble beard small smile gray background so that is roughly going to be our prompt i don't know why i've chosen brazilian because it's richard squirrel we're doing fine we'll do one of these they were english so then we just got to wait for this to um go it's at 32 percent at the moment it takes a few minutes and there we go there are our faces and then what you can do is you can decide to do variations you can upscale if you if you like the look of a particular one so this one this one this one looks like a international footballer doesn't he so we're going to upscale this guy uh, we can then uh, vary it we can zoom out a bit so if you wanted a little bit more of the shirt involved we could do that we could vary certain regions we can vary loads of different things this is not a mid-journey tutorial this is a football manager how to get the faces in tutorial but you can have a little play around as you so wish and for that 10 pound a month you get i think it's probably a good no probably north of 200 plus renders for the month which takes i never use all of them so you you have plenty to work with plenty to work with there we go and where do these photos go i hear you ask well if you go to the internet go to the mid journey website and you log in and then if you go to where do you go tasks no organize here we go organize go to organize and there you go so and these are the first photos that have come through today there's the ones from previously there's some football pictures oh part the bus yeah when i was making the thumbnail on the 5th of august anyway we're going to do richard squirrel first of all richard squirrel so even though we've done richard squirrel in the past we're going to download this fella this is going to be our old squizmeister we're going to download this this is this is just going to go straight into our downloads folder so there we go today we've got this photo if we do extra large icon there we go there is the photo now of course that's not going to be good enough to get into football manager as it is so what we do is we go to a website this is completely free to use i'm going to try and do as much of this as free to use as possible so what we do is we go to remove.bg now you can buy credits and do things that cost more that cost a bit to do this to have a higher res version but what you do is you literally go and you drag and drop your image and it just removes the background amazing and it the free download is 500 by 500 pixels now that is perfectly ample for what you guys need it for because as we'll get to in a second the size of the photo that we need for football manager is 250 by 250 pixels so now we have to do a bit of editing now personally i have photoshop for my thumbnails and everything but there is also a free version of a photoshop derivative that you can use through the web so photo p photo p photo p however you want to say it i don't know you go to the website you go to a new project so now we want to do a 200 and 50 by 250 pixel photo there we go and now all we do is we drag in him happy days then what we'll do is we're going to export as a png if we go back to richard squirrel and we find his id there his there is his id copy that and we paste that in for the name there there we go so that is the first part of this task completed there is our photo now for those of you who have a face pack installed in football manager then you will have these folders now you will see these are this is where all the main face packs go so you go to documents sports interactive football manager 24 graphics faces and i've got some other ones inside of there so what i'm going to do is for my regen faces of pre-game i've got a custom folder so once we've gone into that now this is the next part we go to sort it out si now again on sort it out si if you look for fm xml so if you don't go to fm.x so you should search for fm fm xml uh search, uh, sort out i think um who else who else has it uh, fm scout probably a few a few of the other football manager websites so there we download and install this it's very easy to do so th here's the page um i, I, I will probably link this uh, in the description as well uh, thinking about it so yeah just you know being a sick guy that i am uh, if you then to set it up you just go through the process then to open it up you just open up and this is what you're left with so once you've got your fm xml what you do is you go into this uh directory and you copy that across you then go to all file names or ids and click go and it will add all the files to what is no we want to keep that open actually uh, we will add all the files to um, a config file which is down here that is essentially all you have to do if we go down back to richard squirrel now you can just clear the cache with the main football manager skin but when you are using a custom skin you actually have to change back out of that skin to the football manager skin and then back to your current skin which can be a bit long so if you're going to do half a dozen players it's best to do them all in a wanna and then do the skin change otherwise you've got to sit through this which is what i'm talking over so i'm going to stop 
editing will sort it out and there we go we've gone back to the main foot munchkin and as you can see that face that we had earlier is now in as richard squirrel so that's all we've got to do for that one so let's go back into our discord so i've, show, I've shown you how to download the players and what we're going to do is i'm going to go back to my images in discord and we're going to download this chap here same process as before we're going to go to remove background there we go and we're going to quickly download that again go into photo p once again and we're going to, of course, we're going to export as a PNG because that means there'll be no background there. I'm sure you guys are all aware of that. So now we're back here in the foot, main football manager. Let's go and have a look for a regen because this is a bit slightly different process and it's slightly more convoluted. But we're doing all the main same bits again. So let's go down and let's just look for a 15 year old. Out of context, that could sound very, very wrong. Please do forgive me. Um, unattached as well. Oh. We just want to regen face, right? Michael Lowe, there we go, regen face. And it looks horrendous, doesn't it? An absolute horrific regen face. So let's get me on the shortlist. So ID, there's his unique player ID. So we're going to have, I know he's a Scottish player and he's going to look Brazilian, but allow it. We change that and we save that as his ID. Same, same kind of process as before. We're going to cut that and we're going to go out of this now eagle eye viewers will have noticed i had a custom and a custom two so custom two is for the regen faces for inside the game there we go and some of you will probably recognize some of these players from some of my experiments over the course of this football manager cycle so once again we go through here we go back to fm xml we do that we have all file names or ids we go and we do yes we want to overwrite the current directory now for some reason Football Manager decided to make an amendment to IDs in Football Manager. So as you can see here, this is a this is a player's ID. It might look a bit complicated to you, but do, do, please forgive me. What they've done is they've put an R hyphen in front of everyone's um, regen ID. So what we have to do is we have to go into here and we do Control H, which is Find and Replace. So what we're going to do is we're going to ask to we're going to ask to find person slash yeah, and what we want to do is we want to replace that with person slash r hyphen so once we do that we, if we do replace all we'll notice that everyone's id here has been replaced we then save that's now overwritten the current config file so every id here will have r hyphen and then the player's name and then we go back through and as you'll see if we change michael low now if we go to a the original version for manager skin his face will be the one we just downloaded i expect and there you go ladies and gentlemen there he is he's in there michael low let's just go back to the proper skin and doesn't that look better? Doesn't that add so much more immersion into your save games rather than the crappy rubby? I mean, I've gone on about these ad nauseum, but I mean, then, I mean that's one of the better ones, and that's saying something. We've just had a bad one, haven't we? Let's go, let's go through these and see. Let's find the next horrific one. Not great, old Dion Davis here with these freckles. Joe Price. Do you know what? They're all actually oh, Joe Price again. They're all doing all right. David Bullock. What a mono brow that is. Ryan Smith, very freckly again. Yeah, again, very freckly. But then again, they're not great, are they? I mean, opening up and seeing this kind of face is rubbish. You'd much rather be looking and seeing someone like that, wouldn't you? A proper, real face. That's why there's so many other variations of new Jan packs out there. You know, Zealand and his team had one where they you you can export an entire database of players from your save game, and it will randomly assign them based on their nationality a face, which is so good if you want to do the whole. Um, save file but if you just want to do a few for your team and a few that you're hand cherry picking then go about it this way that there's, there's many different ways i'm not saying my way is better but this is just the way i do it i hope this has been informative and i hope you found this useful it's been requested by so many of you so yeah and um, please do drop a like on it if you found this helpful let me know in the comments if you've got any questions any further input from any of this and also just to help out the community i don't know any free alternatives at the moment to uh generate images like this that are of a standard of mid journey so i'm happy to pay for it because you know i get uh, i just reinvest the ad rev from my content that i make in back into the channel with equipment and all that jazz any free variations and free uh, other programs that are out there do leave them in the comments and i'll, I'll make sure i get them pinned uh, to the top and we can all upvote them and everything so it can just help out the community so you can all do this for free because like i say i use photoshop not photo p but I know Photo P exists. Remove.bg. I do, I do actually use that, and I don't have the credits for the high res versions. However, I would, I do pay sometimes to have. However, you can you, you can use um, other variations, but I think Remove.bg is one of the better ones. So that's the one I use. And yeah, shout out to Sort Out SI and all the other guys that have FM, FM XML on their websites. They're free to download. I think you just got to sign in and register or something. Register your email. Again, that was free, or it used to be free. If it's changed, I do apologize. But yeah. 
it's all dead easy all to create the config file just a click of a button and yeah so hopefully you can follow this tutorial hopefully it's been very self-explanatory and i hope you have better regen faces in your save game so yeah let me know um let me know if you've used utilized this technique and let me know how you got on and you know because i always find that some of the players that you actually grow fond of and you have a real affinity to who've carried you from the lower le lower leagues of the premier league to champions league glory who's been with you came as a wonder kid and you've built a team around it's better to look at a real face than a crappy regen face isn't it isn't it so i'll leave that one with you hope you, hope you found this informative thanks for watching take good care of yourselves i'll see you soon